Hello, my pretties. How are you guys? I'm going to be doing a collective read. Theprettyoracle.com, spelled just like that right there, is where you're going to be able to find the things that I have to offer you guys. Um, it, that's my website. You're going to be able to also find my email and things like that in the description box. If, you know, at any time I help you during this reading or I've helped you before and you're looking to exchange energy with me, my Amazon wishlist link and my PayPal link is at the in the description box as well. You guys have been showing such an outpouring of love um, and I'm greatly appreciative. Okay. Yeah, let's get into this. So, crown and a read, we have doing spells, okay? Doing spells and avoid contact with sick people, okay? Um, somebody is, like, when I tell you, like, the type of... I got the energy of a mouse trap. Now, remember, I've been telling y'all, I've been seeing a bunch of rats. I did a reading on it. You know, um, i just been channeling um, stuff like that, okay? And I've been sharing it with you guys. Um, and now I see spiders in, in, in this um particular card there, there's some uh, energy of like pests or vermin okay being handled now is what it feel like the wheel of fortune is here okay although somebody's doing spells the wheel of fortune is here and then with that eight of wands in reverse it, it feels to me like this is backfiring whatever this is it could have this could have backfired onto somebody's health with this avoid contact with sick people, okay? This, 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 let me see. Avoid contact with sick people. Um, If you, okay, if you know who this person is that I'm getting ready to describe, be careful about drinking, partying with them, or anything like that, okay? There's something wrong with this person, especially as their, as their emotional body is concerned. Emotionally, there's something wrong. All right, this person, it, it could be like a stripper or dancer or somebody who, you know, sells ass for the devil, okay? With this, um with this energy okay i feel like this person has the tendency um see i don't like this because here go this is a man in lingerie here go this cross-dressing man again here here he go like they giving me they telling me all type of shit right now he 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 does rituals he um do like have ritualistic sex you know what i mean um calls up with this death energy calls um things from the dead Okay, um, but I feel like the way when they when the type of summoning that this person is involved in is to um, you see how they, he's getting ready to put the fire in his mouth. I feel like this person puts the um, and you see how the a heart is here. The heart is here. It feels to me like this person puts whatever this entity is okay that they call it up from the dead they do rituals to put it in themselves okay and that's why we have this avoid contact with sick people this person is emotionally disturbed um because they're calling on entities and it's affecting them emotionally somebody and and and, and another thing too this person working with voodoo dolls Voodoo Dales, right? Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Cups. See, we have justice twice. We got justice at the bottom of the deck here, and then we have justice right here. Okay, like I said, there's something that the, the that they called on, or this person was doing spells, and it, it went it went in reverse. Okay, now I feel like it is with this eight with this, with this eight of wands in reverse, literally pointing at the overflowing emotions. Like I say, this person is emotionally dis 
perturbed, okay? There's something very wrong with this individual, okay? They're suffering from some type of, some, some sort of entity interruption, all right? And it's probably because they were calling on these entities to try to harm you, all right? Or whatever ritual they were doing backfired on them, all right? And so that's why you would need to avoid contact. Look at that, adversity. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that spirit saying like, you know, here go a taste of your own medicine now. How do you like it? How do you like it? To grab, to, 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 for this person to be gracious of, you know, just period, okay? It's like, I'm going to have to let you see that your shit stinks, okay? But the way I'm going to have to let you do that is for you to smell it. So all this, you know, stuff that you're doing, these rituals that you're partaking in, calling up entities from the dead or from the underworld, using voodoo dolls and such, right? Um, doing spells, participating in, in, in five of swords type energy, right? I'm going to make you have to eat what you, uh, you know, what you put out or reap what you sow with this justice and balance type energy here. So that you, so that you can learn from that. Okay. That's what this is. This is, this is some, some spells that backfire. And because of this five of swords energy is here, I'm pretty sure that this had to do with you. Okay somebody doing this to you who's the person that's doing this spells? this oh my god this cross justin man somebody might have a tiger or some sort of um cat tattooed on them somebody name is bubba or baba or something like that baba Somebody may get a message about a person being sick, okay? If you get a message about a person being sick, I'm telling you right now, it is directly related to um, whatever they was participating in, all right? This energy is has boomeranged itself back, is what I see. I don't know why I keep getting this energy of it's a party. I don't know what that is. What is that? This person could be like doing drugs or something like that. All right, with this Eight of Cups, this, this has to do with you walking away from this person, it feels like. All right, with the Star, the Emperor, and the Queen of Pentacles, it, it just makes me feel like, you know, this is a celebration. However you, however you did this, how you walked away from this situation is what it feels like, and you followed your... Um, your intuition with the hermit card and went on your journey and with the seven of swords in reverse, you revealed everything or you know everything that, you know, was happening to you or being done to you in the dark. This is, the, this is that justice. This is that destiny energy. This is how it was supposed to be, you know? I forgot to mention these two cards over here, which were, which was um, the messages for you guys. So we have power. I just heard power of attorney. We have power and guardian angel, okay? 
This is, you know, it feels like you have been lifted up out of something. Let me tell you something. A person who was dealing in this energy, okay, this with this voodoo doll, summoning shit from the dead. They even telling me, like, listen, uh, and in this, I'm going to tell you right now, I, I, I picked this up before, but drinking blood or, or eating body parts, okay, like stuff like that. Like, this is not regular, I'm going to light a black candle for your ass. No, this is not that. This is real, um, this is Stephen, people. <laughs> All right? Like, it, it, it gets, it gets, it, this is really dark. So, if your guardian angel was able to bring you out of that and, and help you step into your power, please, y'all, give, give thanks. Avoid contact with sick people. The things that I'm seeing that this person is involved in, they, uh, this person even, they saying like sacrifice babies. And that's the type of blood they could be drinking. I, I'm not saying nothing else about that because, because what? Yeah, look at that waiting and pleasure seeking. Hmm. I'm also I'm also feeling like this has a lot to do with some sort of uh that that that, that those that contractual agreement to try to, you know, harm another person. It just it has backfired. It has backfired. It has backfired. Justice is gonna justice is coming. It's on the horizon. For those of you, if you haven't experienced it yet, justice is coming. It's on the horizon. Somebody stands to, you know, be I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna um yeah, what did I say? <laughs> stands to privileged lady. Somebody stands to be in a better predicament. I'm not gonna say what it is. All right, somebody stands to be in a better predicament. There's going to be a message of concern that comes across your desk, okay? Will you be concerned about it? I don't know. It's going to come as a surprise. Yeah, you will be concerned about it. Message of concern and concern is here too, okay? Somebody, this person that I'm talking talking about may call you for your help or call you to try to be back with you again okay mm -hmm. i feel like you may get love bomb um by this individual because they are anticipating something coming they're anticipating some, something coming or they're trying to set you up in some sort of way or something like that there's something under the uh, up under their sleeve okay so watch out for this uh reunion type energy that they may be trying to um push on to you to come back this person is that's why you have avoid contact with sick people because this person is like really on some bs this is i can't even say person no more this is not even like this is not this energy is not even human they are totally and 100% being manipulated by, by the powers that be, okay? And I mean that in the most low vibrational sense. Better stay away from this person. I heard this person say, I thought we were supposed to stick together. Some shit like that. We come together like... Blah, 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 blah. Ching, ching, shoo, bang, shabop, That's the way it should be. Uh, is that from Greece? Yeah, this person is doing doing spells. They could be doing spells um that have to do with the mirror. Okay, so cover your mirrors. Cover your mirrors. They trying to manipulate the way you see things. 
That's that was the point of their spells, manipulating the way that you see things, projecting certain energies onto you. If you feel if you feel like you can't stop thinking about this person, <laughs> this person's trying to put you in a mental prison with this master mastery here. trying to um yeah trying to give you anxieties and stuff like that give you um false uh false thoughts okay make you think negatively send you sending you negative energy by way of your mental as far as your mental is concerned okay this this is what the this spell was 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 sent to you for you to do okay um, but it looks like this person is going to be suffering from the same exact energy that they put out and you will be hearing about it. What did I say? Bad health. trying to like the, the, this this wicked person was trying to push off some sort of sickness type energy and you know it was for money they were expecting to get a message that you um met your demise or something like that and it didn't happen like that they felt like that was the way to the pathway to their great fortune it's like afterwards they were gonna like have to go to court i feel like and maybe um receive some sort of compensation maybe a life insurance policy or social security benefits or some shit like that is what i'm hearing Okay, or they could have done this to somebody else. This could be your wife or your husband, right? Um, they could have done this to somebody else um, to try to get gain some sort of money or something like that. It's just, it's a bunch of wickedness going on here. But this has been revealed. I feel like you know this, though. If you weren't in a relationship with this person this could be like a family member or something like that yeah this could be a family member or something like that as well it doesn't have to be a relationship um but it feels to me like uh there's something going on here with um somebody's sickness being the open door for another person's blessings and that's not good Treasure Island. Mm -hmm. Co-create and tre Treasure Island is here. So it, it feel it feel like um. <laughs> listen, this is this is this is reap what you sow energy. Okay, so I feel like this person put that energy out, tried to make somebody sick, whether it's you or someone else, right? Um, and felt like that, that that would be the way to their great fortune, okay? Their pathway to their great fortune, okay? Um, they were expecting to get a message about this person being sick and them meeting their demise and then ching, ching, they could go cash out. The problem is with the justice energy here twice, it you know, it, the ba balance was restored. And with the guardian angel in power, it, it was restored in uh, favor of you or in favor of, or, you know, whoever was on the right side of right in favor of karma. So now it is, that's the energy that's being mirrored back to this person, especially with this, with this projection energy. Like, oh, you want to play in mirrors? Well, I got a mirror for you. Let me hold it up in front of you because everything that you put out, you're going to get back. So now it seems like there's a message that's going to come in about this person getting sick. And it's going to be better for you or something like that. This is like the shoe completely switches to the other foot. That's what this is.
regret. I know that I cannot change the past. Because yeah, I feel like this person had, you know, trying to put you in some sort of mental prison. And then also we have envy, okay? This was um, someone who is and was extremely jealous of you and um, would not stop, okay? Would not stop at all. Health is here, okay? So they could have did this to you because you're 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 being called to um take care of yourself so this energy could have been um thrown at you okay yeah i hope that helped stop overthinking is what they're telling me and this is not the first time they said this okay they've been saying this for the past two weeks all right you guys i hope that helped